been a busy old day today and now uh, Mark and I are just going to set up to do our podcast on what it's really like to be married to an older woman, isn't it Mark? Yeah. Yeah. So, um, and then we've got the embarrassment and humiliation of getting, trying to get into clothes that once fitted us for this premiere. Yeah, and then we've got the premiere tonight, haven't we? A bit Isn't, later. Um, Not long. Simone's so, yes, yeah, Simone's coming to do my makeup and do my hair. Thank God, it needs it. Cut, give Mark a little cut. Yeah. Do Kiki's fringe. Yeah, we just don't have the time to get out to bloody hairdressers, do we? So, it's so nice that my friend, I mean, she's the most brilliant makeup artist. And actually, she works with um, Elton John. So it's very appropriate she's coming to do us mm -hmm. before we go to the premiere of Rocket Man. Do you think she'll make me look like Elton John? Should, we get, like... should we get you some cray cray glasses? I want cray cray glasses and I want a fabulous sort of, I don't know, suit. You look lovely today. Don't worry. Okay. <laughs> Hello. I wasn't looking for anything. We're looking for opticians so we can get him glasses. We just said glasses. Are you crazy? Who needs That's glasses? why it said you want an opticians. Oh, oh crikey. They're listening. Hey, Alice, apparently someone said on one of, on the, we need to sort my eyebrow. Everyone's yeah, talking about my... to trim Look at this, really guys. Bad. Look, look, let's just you do this. You can't go on a red carpet no, look, with look. those. Oh, God, you look like Dennis Healy. But, excuse me, can we just have a moment? We just said glasses and he said, do you want an optician? Uh, it's frightening, isn't it? The robots are taking over, guys. Oh, this is us setting up. There he is, look. This is how we do it. He yeah, has his camera like that. We each other, that, each other right And up. then I have my camera like this. And then that's us. And then last week we did one. What was the one we did last week? Oh, yeah, my three wishes that I would want Mark to give me for our marriage. And mm -hmm. <laughs> ended up in Armageddon. Mark was in tears. I was in tears. Um, was that the last podcast? It was. So we do it on we do it on iTunes. So if you are in the car and you want to listen to it, just all about marriage, really, and how we save our marriage. And but if you want to watch it on here, you can. It's a, it's um is it in the health and well being playlist? Oh, it's on a how to stay married playlist. It's got its own play. It's got its own playlist, guys. So check it out. Check it out. So look at where I'm sitting. It looks getting technical now. Let me go over this way so I can hide the mop. <laughs> I'm trying to hide the mop and the rubbish. Well, I'll move them up. Do you think you should put the rubbish in the bin, babe? Because the dogs might start rustling in it. The bins are full. It's so glamorous here. The, the way bin. Yeah. It's the, the bins are full outside? Yeah. No. Yeah. It's only Monday. What the hell are we going to do? Don't you just hate that? Oh my God, this bloody bins. Was it always like this? I'm sure, when, I'm sure when we were growing up, we were never in this situation where the bin was too full. Doesn't it drive you mad? I mean, I know we've got to save the planet and all of that, and we're very, we're very you know, conscientious about that. We do all our recycling and stuff, but Jesus Christ, it drives me mad. My poor mum and dad next door. Oh my God, they're getting such a pickle about it. Just having a moan about the rubbish. So I'm sure when we were growing up, you just used to put as much rubbish as you had. Yeah. Didn't you? It's ridiculous just not picking rubbish up because rubbish is going to happen. It's yeah, I mean, where is the rubbish going to go? Now, if our bins are full on Monday, what are we going to do with the rest of our rubbish? Yeah, I agree. Anyway, we're going to get on with our podcast so we're now. Gonna, yeah. See you later I'm in our vlog. And start properly. I'll just join later, I'll tell you. Very exciting. Wasn't that exciting, Simone? A man on a bike just delivered my tickets How for the you? premiere. And uh, Simone is going to try and make me look beautiful in time for the red carpet. Can you make me look thinner, please? Yeah, of course. <laughs> so let's have a look, see if we're invited to the party. This is the thing. Do you get invited to the party as well? And the Simone. best film ever. I've seen it. It's Simone's brilliant. already seen it. Are you allowed to say how you saw it or not? Well, it was a private viewing. Private and viewing. And Elton was there. It's beautiful. Oh, there they are. There are all the tickets. Oh, F30, that's good. Dress Hello. smart. F, that is good. Mm. 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 What's this? Very thing? important. Dear guest, Rocket Man, on behalf of Leicester Square. Da, da, da. Oh, I don't think I've got an invite to the party. <laughs> Oh, really? Oh. oh, well, that's what happens when you're a Z-list celebrity. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, they don't always have parties. Yeah, it might not. It might just be drinks. Oh, yeah. 
Anyway, we're in and we're in row F, which is brilliant. Because sometimes you're right up the back when you go to a premiere and it can be really annoying. Super. Woohoo! Hi, dude. So, um, my voice is going because of this bloody cough I've got. Um, so I'm heading uh, back to the house to get uh, preened by our lovely friend Simone um, for this premiere. And I have to be honest, I am so out of my comfort zone at something like a premiere. But um, I'm kind of pushing myself to go to this one only because, you know, I feel like I'm doing quite well on the Joe Wicks. I'm a huge cinema lover, obviously. I'm a huge fan of Elton John's um, music. I'm kind of looking forward to the film too. And um, although it's not necessarily exactly my kind of film, but you know, I'm up for a good time. And you know, the whole red carpet thing, argh, I mean, even Nadia hates it. There's nothing to like about it, but on the, at the same time, it'll be quite nice to be out with my dear Maddie and Nadia and just have a bit of, you know, showbiz glam and all that kind of stuff. Though, as I say that, I'm lying. I hate show, I, I don't want any showbiz glam. In fact, why am I saying, what am I saying? Why am I saying this? I don't know, I think it'd be nice for Maddie. And uh, I think secretly, obviously, Nadia quite likes it too. Um, but I have to say, I keep thinking to myself today, I'm, I'm working and I keep thinking, what is that little kind of shrill anxiety? I mean, what the hell's gonna happen? It's not like someone's gonna shoot me. My God, maybe someone is gonna shoot me. It's not as if someone's gonna shoot me on the red carpet, are they? Uh, yeah, I mean, the reason I'm starting to laugh is I'm just imagining what absolutely idiotic frozen face I'll give if, uh, if we get photographed on the uh, carpet today. Anyway. Feel a little bit anxious when you suffer from anxiety like I do. This ain't something you're looking forward to. I bet you any money we get out of the car at exactly the same time that Elton John arrives as well. And then there'll be a bundle and then we'll trip and then I'll fall on the floor and then Elton will land on me. There'll be this sort of very awkward moment where he looks at me and goes, God, you're nice. And I'll be like, no, I'm not Joe Wicks. Honest, honest, I'm taken. I'm taken. I'm only Joe's. And then I'll just scurry inside. <coughs> Now getting Maddie ready. Yeah. Then she's going to do Mark's hair. One day you go there and the next day is. Who's the smile, baby? Go on. There you go. Look, guys, my man crush of the minute. Not, not Taryn Edgerton, but Elton, the main man. The main man, man. The main man. And there's Nadia. Top it, top it, get down. Getting ready. Hiya. Hello, by our dear, oh. dear Simone. So what look are we going for today? Um, we'll zero in, show people my makeup. How gorgeous is that? So I've got individual lashes put on. Whoa. I've got Charlotte Tilbury eyeshadow on. Is Whoa. it yep. Charlotte Tilbury? Dolce Vita. Dolce Vita. I've got Estee Lauder base on. Whoa. And now Simone's giving me delicious curls. <sighs> I might fancy you. And I'm wearing a bright red and pink dress. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. And that's Stephen in the background digging away into our loft. Mm -hmm. um, what was I going to say? I'm not your shirt after this. Uh, I'm wearing Dolce Vanana with, Dolce a, with a, Vanana. a belt by Moshata. Dolce. <laughs> and I might, I might wear sort of some Dolce. cologne by Miresh Nivefe. Dolce Vanana. Uh, and, and, and a bit of Moshata. You need to have some lunch. I'm, you know what? I feel so ill, I don't feel like I can eat. Make a smoothie. Make a peanut butter I don't, smoothie. I, yeah. It may make me feel a bit bloated. No, don't not eat, Mark. I'm jo not not going to eat. be happy with you. All right, Joe. Joe. Joe, got you any advice for there. red carpet, Joe? You're his little lean winner. I know. And I have, I have crunched my abs like a good un. Follow the yellow brick road. Follow the yellow brick. Aren't they gorgeous? Mark bought me these years ago and I only ever wear them for like posh do's. So I'm wearing these with... I think you treat your, I, you treat your heels quite brutally. And this is quite flash. This has been sent all the way from LA for me to wear tonight. It's like a kimono. Aww. In a good way. In a good way. Yeah. Oh, let me iron your shirt. Oh, they they perfect, perfect, they? Yeah, they're and then that's the bag. Oh, wow. Aren't they stunning? Look at that. Look. Those the very, very famous person that um, oh, right. Simone looks after bought her oh, those. Right. Yeah, yeah. Show them to the subs, Mark. Gorgeous. Aren't they stunning? 
I want them. <laughs> Lovely, I've seen them. Aren't they great? Are they Gucci? Gucci, yeah. yeah. Oh. But Freddie said, Mummy, don't wear them on, mm. on Saturday. Why? I wasn't allowed to wear them. <laughs> Why? Why? Because he was he was singing in church and said, you can't wear them. <laughs> <laughs> he was too embarrassed. Too embarrassed. Oh, God, doesn't he know he's got a really funky, yeah. cool mum yeah, that everyone wants to emulate? Mark's going. Oh. <laughs> can there anything? Can anything be done with should information? We, should we dye me pink or purple no. or no. No. shiny? Blue. No. Blue, like blue. Stephen. Stephen says Stephen blue. Stephen dyed his hair blue once. Um, oh, you yeah, shouldn't have your hair. <laughs> blue hair. Yeah, I'll go and get it and show you. <laughs> um, so, do you think I'm going to impress? Sir Elton. Do you have to call him Sir Elton? No. No, no. I'm so out of my comfort zone with this whole thing. <laughs> I, can't, I was already talking in the car about it. Now dread it. Try dread going. He Don't gets embarrassed on the carpet. But so do I. Everybody does. I mean, the thing is, everybody's standing there looking all confident. No, but no, but as soon as they get out, it's that automatic thing. Because, of course, you know, everyone's there to take photos of you and Maddie. But I just want to run. I want to run for cover. Who I am. You end up, you, you don't know what it's like for the person who's, who's not the celeb because you just stand there like a spare brick and you then just have to, you have to sort of shuffle to the side. Well, I do with, because with there's dignity. loads of time I've gone on and a red carpet. And then you have to kind of go, uh, and then they all go, oh no, get in, get in, and then you feel like the one, twat. No, but then there's loads of times I've been on a red carpet and they're taking a photo and they go, can you get out of the way, please, because somebody famous has come along. Mm -hmm. So I know, I know it more keenly than you do because you have to stand there in the full floodlight and then move off. Mm. <laughs> The whole thing is mortifyingly embarrassing for everyone. Even people that don't look like they're embarrassed. Unless you're the mega star, star of the show, everyone's getting shuffled, moved along. They can all be shouting at you to take a photo and then somebody much, much more interesting comes actually, along and they just ask yeah. you to move out of the way. I wonder if he actually enjoys a night like tonight or whether it's just like, oh, bloody hell, I've got to do another bloody premiere. I've seen it three times. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? It becomes very Well, that's ordinary. why a lot of them, when they arrive, they, they go straight through the cinema and yeah. don't watch it because they've already seen exit. it loads of time. Yeah, this is a big moment. I can't tell you how loud it is. This is my purpose. We should amplify the sound effect of that. Actually, makes my head feel lighter. <laughs> Problem is, I try and you do my. See again. <laughs> I try and do my own eyebrows, and then I start trimming, and then you you can't stop, and then you keep trimming, and then oh, yeah, get the side shot because it's like thick, isn't it? It's like three D eyebrows. I need three D glasses. Yeah. Body, right? Is that good? Looking yeah. fresh? Yeah, you're looking fresh. Go and show your mum. Look, look at your mum. Look at Nadia. Oh, wow. wow. You look lovely. Nice. Oh, you look great. Do I? Yeah. yeah. Cool. Oh, thank you. Why do I feel the shoes? Yeah, so should we try? Nice. I thought, let's try one of each. Yeah. Looking gorgeous. Thank you, baby. I've had my hair done. Have you got a photograph of me with my hair? Yeah. No, it takes years off him, don't you think? That's hey. There he is. He's done. Nice. Nothing like a mum to walk through the door and say, oh, it takes years. Didn't you look nice? It's so sweet. It's, it's nice. a good thing. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. But it's I always think haircutting takes years off people. Yeah. 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 So, would you like to go, mum? That's good, isn't it? That's Annie Dye, yeah. would you like to go? Um, yeah, but I'm not. No, no, I know. <laughs> But it, would you, are you an Elton John fan? Yeah, huge! Yeah. Oh, Prefer huge. Elton John to Queen? Yeah. Pardon? Say hello, subs. Hello, I was hello, subs. I wasn't sure if I was supposed to. Do you prefer yeah. Elton John to Don't Queen? Just one? Two. Yeah. Yeah. Elton yeah. John's been through no, things. He's yeah. suffered. He's, he's come out the other end. Exactly. He's still standing. That's nice, doesn't it? Yeah. Thank you. Them in? Why? What's going on? These Stand children. back to back. She's got no shoes on either. You've got no um, shoes on. But you know Kiki's talking And you've got, me got now shoes, on. shoes on. I'm not Hang on, Mad you. Maddie. Kiki hasn't got shoes on and Nanny Dye has I got shoes on. I can feel that her shoulders are a bit... Of, oh, my Lord. They're one whole thing higher than yeah. mine. Her, I feel so time. short next to my friends, though. Like, so short. Sally's tall. Sally, no, Sally's shorter than me. She's always going to be shorter than me. <laughs> no. Final touches. My beautiful friends. Oh, no, we love so cement. beautiful. If she wasn't taken, I'd nick her. <laughs> She's a married woman. I oh, know. 
Oh, yeah, so am I, exactly. Yeah, okay. oh. You look gorgeous. Ah, you look oh, absolutely it. stunning. Yeah, it'll be, it'll be. You look lovely. Yes. With your peach t-shirt. Oh, you know. oh, me, thank you. Oh. <laughs> Oh, how's the garden? Ah, oh, ah, did you water? Did you keep ah, watering? Ah, oh, I wonder if you did. Look, Natty, you have to clip your heels down. You're not wearing, are you so, wearing your... Yeah, wearing yeah? I, What I love about them is they leave sparkles as, as you go. Oh, oh, my God, how can anybody walk them? Well, not only that, Di, the problem is the right-hand one's too big. Oh. So it falls off my foot. Oh, it's a nightmare. How can that be? Well, I can see, actually, look. Yeah. I'm gonna have to stick oh, something. That isn't working, oh, is it? Working. I'm gonna have to stick something at the front, <laughs> and it's gonna be agony. But I'm gonna have to put some cotton wool at the front. Yeah, or, or you can't get one of those things that go on your heel. Oh, Daddy, well, look short. Sure. I know, I do. <laughs> come, come over. Oh, look, guys, look at my hair. Everybody's gone so tall. Oh my God. No, you're still taller than me. Yeah, barely. <laughs> barely. I look like a short ass. Mind you, no one's as short as Elton, are they? No, exactly. Exactly. Elton's short, isn't exactly. Isn't he? Yeah. Why do you keep thinking you're tall? I'm taller than you. I'm not. But no, you're you not. look. But I, I actually look considerably taller. <laughs> you look really taller. nice. Do a nice photo. Yeah, do a nice. No, Mark, do a good face. <laughs> what is wrong with you? <laughs> what happened? Oh, <laughs> so, do you think I've lost some weight? Yes, I do. I've been it's killing good. myself on the hits. Oh yeah. Oh good. Well, not good, but I mean, you know, it's, it's good. It's a good thing. Well, it is good because what does Nanny? Th what did Nanny Thelma used to say about us Adelies? Oh, why? What she, she was wrong. To... No, she was. She wasn't. ended up. She ended up like a spectre. It, spectre. That's it's a great use. Just... It really is. Yeah, Spe rarely used, but, but beautifully James used. Bond film. Yeah, spectre. A spectre. Yeah. What she looked a like a spectre. Use of it, spectre. But she used to say that us Adelies, if we're not careful, we no, run to she fat. She said that, but she just used to say, Dad. Dad, Dad ran to fat. He didn't. Well, we did. That's didn't. why he had a heart attack. Yeah, but it's, he was eating. That's why he ran to fat. Well, I suppose you run to fat if you eat, overeat. Exactly. Exactly, Mum. Exactly. Oh, look, I, I thank you for my chiseledness. Okay. Yeah. Exactly. Look at I my can't nose. Wait to... Yeah. You see. It's come back. You're right. See what I mean? My nose has come you get, back. You get all the um. What do you call it? Oh God, I can't think of this. Bogies. <laughs> <laughs> Nos no, you, nostril you, hairs? No, shadows. Do um, I? I get nose shadows. Blackhead. Blackhead? <laughs> no, no, what Weird do you call it? I don't know, Mum. Only you are in possession of the same. Oh, cheekbones. Well, yeah, but in this Jaw case... Lines. Planes? <laughs> nose bones. That is the nose thing. joints. Mark, what do you call it in a sculpture when you're knocking things off and you end up with a sculpture? Chiseled. 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 I've got a chiseled nose. You've got a chiseled nose. My mum says I've got a chiseled nose, girls. Sculptured nose. I can't wait to inspect the... Um, see, what you haven't done, though, you haven't... This is what you do. You've always clearly done so much stuff out yeah. there. And I haven't cleared that pile. Well, no, no, and, and that's what you do when you come out. Now, I've done all this work and you no, no, see, focus no. straight away. Why haven't you got something for, this, for the sweet peas to go up? No. I well, did think about that. Because we didn't get them that day, did we? No, we didn't. No. But but you're dangerously close to entering Greenfingered Hell right now. Oh. You're on the edge of a multiverse. Return back to this verse. I love the idea of the I'm multiverse. still standing after yeah. all this time. Yeah. Feeling yeah. like a good yeah. survivor. Yeah. Feeling like a little kid. I'm still standing after. I love Elton. If I see Elton, I'm gonna. I might. I might rugby tackle Elton to the ground. I might storm him. I'm gonna jump on Elton John, Stephen, and I'm gonna give him a great big hug. He's the original. He's the original. Exactly. He's the OG. Say bye bye. This is so Bye. 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 We're off out. Bye. We're going. This is it. Oh, I'm dreading it on one level. Hey guys, how are you feeling? Good. Nads is posting. The most important news for me tonight is I've had my eyebrows trimmed. <laughs> so my entire forehead feels lighter. I don't feel like I have an enormous hairy ledge on my face, which is what it was beginning to look like, Maddie, wasn't it? A hairy ledge from the side that little things could jump off and jump onto. So we're in the car, heading into town, to Armageddon, with lots of glitter, lots of fanfare. Last time there was a premiere in uh, Leicester Square, it was for A Star Is Born. Oh, God. And, you, and you, me and Maddie were 
and Kiki, we were kind of like really nonchalant because we didn't know then it was going to be as good as it was. Yeah. Yeah. Really? Yeah, Lady Gaga was something like inches from us, and we just what, like, oh yeah, that's Lady Gaga. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, she wasn't that far away from no. us at all. And we were just like, oh yeah, it's not going to be a great film, is it? All of this. Yeah. How wrong were we? It's our film of the year. It's our film of the year. So anyway, so when I, you know, if I suddenly leave you guys, it's because Elton's asked me to go over to him, over to his crowd. <laughs> yeah, I'm videoing you, videoing you. <laughs> videoing him. We're all videoing, videoing each other. Him. <laughs> Do you want to video us? We'll all video together. The driver's videoing us all. Oh, what a lovely thing to say. Millie Mop says, I'm proud of Maddie, and she's not even my daughter. Oh, oh what a lovely thing to say. Mm. I'm so proud of Maddie. So, so proud of her. What she, we had the most glorious night last night because she sang to us all her beautiful songs. We had a lovely, like, Sunday dinner, didn't we? Yeah. And then Maddie and my nephew just sat and sang to us, and it was just gorgeous. Yeah, it's lovely. So, we think Elton John might have closed Parliament Square, so we're now just struggling our way around. You good? We're nearly yeah, there. I don't know how I'm going to walk with my right foot. I'm worried your ankle's going to go over. Yeah. Guess what? Well, I need a wee. So do I, so badly. How are we going to do pop that? Into McDonald's. Oh, that'd be terribly Just embarrassing. Get a burger. Get a burger. Maddie, burger. <laughs> okay, so we're just about to enter Leicester Square. Maddie is having to walk like that because her feet are so painful. I've got a cut of wool stuffed into one shoe. This is so funny. So I can't walk. So funny. <laughs> Hello. I think so. <laughs> Where this are way, they? ladies. This way. Yeah, it's open, mate. Thank you very much. Next corner. Thank you. I know it's not stuck in my shoes. Come on. You with us, Nad? Are you walking all right now? Yeah. Say hello to the subs. Hi, subs. So I'm just hanging on to my life at the minute. It's trusty, bloody shoes. Wait, oh, there's Taryn Egerton. Egerton. Over there. Maddie? Yeah, why is it why is it blue and not red? I don't know, carp red carpets are always blue these days. I want a red carpet. Yeah. I think it's the colour of the rocket map. Ah, uh, rocket man. Pace they're taking us, that's all. I think I yeah. did it very stylishly. So Nadia just fell over. Hello! <laughs> How are you? Hello! Hello. Hi, yeah. Hello! I love you! Oh, oh my god! Going this way, I think we're Should we come with you? In the back of the Olympia's pit! <laughs> I just turned around and you were on the floor. <laughs> but I thank God I only landed on my knees. You, I turned around and you were on the floor. Oh, no, 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 oh my God, nobody's helped me out here. No, 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 it was really bad. No, no, it no. was really no, bad. No, 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 as falls go, it was good. It was good. <laughs> it was really, really bad. Really bad. Oh. You did what? No, you smiled it. it. You did style it. This is 
the reality of red carpet. It's a bit like waiting for a bus. So we're just like here waiting for a bus. <laughs> It's a big bus. Really nice. It's, it's a shiny bus. Over and said hello. Huh? It's a shiny bus. It's a big, big blue shiny bus. Look, there's Elton over there. He's just arrived. That's how to do it, isn't it? <laughs> we're waiting. We're waiting. We're waiting. We're waiting. We're waiting. We're waiting for number forty-two. Number forty-two. We should have got chips. <laughs> We are beyond excited. I was just wondering what is the most rock and roll thing you girls have done? Over there, that was pretty rock and roll. Yeah, you're lucky they weren't and my husband there. and my daughter, I styled it out, but I've literally got Grey's knees like a four year old, and they were like, that was so bad. It was honest. Everybody was just standing in front of everybody. And they were like, it was so bad. Like, it was so bad. Yeah, I would have been so embarrassed. <laughs> I would be so embarrassed. Did the camera see it? Nearly went again. Please. Let's have a debrief. That was the worst You're never experience. Never wearing those shoes again. Oh my God. You look beautiful though. I felt like you. slapped down on my knees, got styled it out with everyone, walked over to Mark and Maddie, who both went. Maddie said that was the most embarrassing thing that again, we can't, I would have died if I'd been you. <laughs> look at the Rocket Man sign though. I know, it's great, fast. isn't it? We've got popcorn and wine. She's and got I champagne. Need 10 more of these after what happened to me out there. Are you feeling mad? I'm shaking inside, I'm absolutely shaking. There's loads of goodies in the goodie bag. Have you looked in the goodie yeah, bag? Yeah, we've got a goodie bag. You know how we were saying Look, 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 I have sprained both my ankles, both of them are in agony. Let me bring on the, the man who deserves a huge thank you from all of us for making a film that I'm proud to be part of. Uh, he is Sir Dexter Fletcher. Yay! Thank you so much, Thank you. 23 years, man and boy, I've been. And nothing, nothing. Hello. Hello. Hello, everybody. Hello. Hello. Are you ready for some rocket, man? Yeah. yeah. Good. That's a good thing because we got some for you. Uh, it's going to be good. I feel like a stand up host. Here we go. Listen, ladies and gentlemen, yeah. we've got some lovely people here. Uh, Bryce Dallas Howard is here, who plays Elton's mother. We would love to give a warm round of applause. The wonderful, dashing, incredibly beautiful Richard Madden. There you go, Sam. Richard Madden amazing, for you. Fantastic, phenomenally voiced and brilliant acting of Mr. Taron Egerton. You're about to see. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we're, we're really excited and thrilled to bring Rocket Man finally out. It's been a, it's been a quick but long journey, longer for you maybe, but. Uh, um, 18 months ago, Matthew got involved as well with David, and here we are. And uh, we're all incredibly proud of the film. We're so pleased to present it to you tonight. Um, we hope you love it half as much as we do, because if you do, you'll, you'll have a really wonderful time. As the fantastic music of Sir Elton and Bernie Taupin, um, we thank you for coming. We hope you enjoy it, and if you see us in the street one day afterwards, just tell us what you think. That'd be lovely. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Thanks, Thanks everybody. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear the cash and
God, so we've just got back. We're back home, thank God. We're going to do a review of Rocket Man, so we'll save all of that for then. But um, I thought we had a, an entertaining evening, didn't we? It was certainly an evening it was we won't very forget. Very stressful. Very stressful. Why was it so stressful, babe? I just found it really stressful. I find red carpet so stressful. I really enjoyed the film. The cinema was ice, ice, ice cold. So, because I had that really thin dress on, I was properly frozen solid for two hours. Um, but I'm really glad we went. That sort of glitzy sort of night is quite a rare thing. And it does feel a privilege to be there, doesn't it? It did. And I really enjoyed the film. Yeah, I did. I really, and it was really lovely seeing Dexter, mm. who's the director, because he went out with my sister for years. And I used to know him very, very well. I mean, we mm. were great mates, so it was really nice to see him again. Yeah. Um, you had a... made me love Elton John. You had a slight yeah. accident, though. Oh, are we talking about that? Well, we'll have seen it already in the vlog. How are you yeah. feeling about so it? So basically, as I arrived and I no, we fell know, over... No, we know what's happened. No, no, but I'm saying that sort of did inform me because I was oh, really right. shaken up and Maddie kept saying to me, it was so embarrassing, it was so embarrassing. So it, was, it stressed me out a bit. But I styled it out. And, yeah, it put me a bit off kilter, as I think it would anyone. Well, you were literally off kilter. It's like your worst nightmare, floor. isn't it, really? Yeah. Um, I didn't know what the hell was going on because I like all, I, all I knew was you were in shot and then you disappeared from shot. In fact, let's, let's just show it again quickly. I couldn't believe it. And then when I moved, you know when you're falling, you can't believe it. I was on the. I was just so glad I hadn't <clears> had a drink. You did look flummoxed. I think Mark How Strong was just behind you as well. Oh, God, shut <laughs> up. I can't take it anymore. Anyway, oh. <coughs> you'll probably be seeing this vlog tomorrow oh, because so I'm too tired. Because everyone will have just laughed and gone home. Everyone would have gone home and go, oh, I saw this woman fall flat on her knees. In the oh, it's all of that, isn't it? So cringe. Mm. It's just so cringe. I've had a haircut, though, which is cool. Oh, I'm cringing. What do you think, guys? So many of you have been banging on at me to have a haircut. In fact, I've got such a red forehead at the moment, it's really odd. Cinderella is back in her jumper, thank God, because it was so freezing cold in that cinema. But, oh, my God, I loved wearing my dress today. And it was really nice going out with Mark and Maddie and to be all dressed up, suited and booted. You had your nice shirt on. Hello. You look lovely. Hey. You look lovely. Thank you. Maddie looked so lovely on the carpet, didn't she? She did. Yeah, so it was nice. <coughs> I'm going to be sleeping on the couch tonight because I've got a bad cough. Phobia hadn't fallen over. I thought there was something resoundingly positive about that film's message. Hmm. Yeah. I love that this man has been it's in recovery special. for 28 years. Yeah, and finally found someone to love him properly. Come on, but you know what, I really don't want to take my makeup off because it's so nice. Simone did such a lovely job, and I just don't want to take it off. That's bad for you, isn't it? I wish I could look like this all the time, just when I wake up. <laughs> anyway, good night, folks. I'm sleeping on the sofa tonight because I'm worried my cough yeah, is going to wake Nadia up. Because Nanny dies in the spare room. Obviously, Kiki's in her room and Maddie's in her room. So, I'm on the sofa. Um, but me and Maddie have just watched the last Game of Thrones. And I'm going to say it loud, I'm going to say it proud. We've so enjoyed getting here. And we're going to do a review of it tomorrow, even though it's the last one. But that was one of the worst episodes of Game of Thrones. It's the most appalling end to such a vast amount of time we've spent watching something. Really disappointing. Anyway, it was a lovely evening. Um, I've really, really actually feel for Nads. That falling thing, but she styled it out, I thought, perfectly. <clears throat> and it's a rest day tomorrow. My throat is so bad. It's a rest day tomorrow, so I don't have to do a hit. And Nadia can't laugh at me. <laughs>